Last one is random uncertainty. Okay, the random uncertainty is a way of calculating the random things that happen in the experiment. Randomly, you could have a little surge in voltage. Randomly, you could have the timer sticking on a certain tick of the clock, I don't know. Completely random. These things happen and you cannot do anything about them. So random uncertainty will happen, you can't do anything about it no matter how accurate the experiment is. So, to try and minimise the effect of random uncertainty, if it's a completely random process, the more times we do the experiment, the less chance of this random thing coming in. Okay? So, random effects will happen in every experiment. They cannot be controlled. They can only be minimized. To calculate, oh no, sorry, to minimize, not to calculate, to minimize. any random effects we must do the experiment as many times as we can I would say, normally in standard grade, they say do it at least three times. That's why you're doing it at least three times. It's not to get an average. Well, it is to get an average, but the average is not there for any other reason than to reduce your random uncertainty, to reduce any random effects. Just reduce the fact that what if you just mucked it up one time? Now, a higher, I would say do it at least five times, if not more. So, talking about at least five. When we do an L3, you expect to do at least five. Three is not enough for higher. Must be five. Okay, so we are we're looking for these random effects. We're trying to minimise them. So once we've done our experiment as many times as we can, we look at all the results and we say to ourselves, what is the random uncertainty here? How much was my results away from each other? Or how much were they out? Okay. So to calculate a random uncertainty. We have a little formula which lets us work out what value this random uncertainty is. Okay, so random uncertainty. Uh, so we'd probably say um, we'd say approximate random uncertainty. So, but you can, basically it's the same idea. Uh, we'll just say we'll, we'll write it down fully this time. Approximate random uncertainty. in the <coughs> mean, it's called. Un un approximate random uncertainty in the mean. Okay? And that is going to equal to a uh, maximum value minus minimum value all over number of readings, number of measurements. Now I'll write that a shorthand. Shorthand is random uncertainty equals max minus min over number of weeks. Okay, same idea. So it's you take your maximum value, you take your minimum value, you take the number of readings that you took. And you work it out. Now, when, I say, when it says here, the, the ra approximate random uncertainty in the mean, which means that this is, we're calcul you've already calculated your average. You've already calculated your mean. Your mean is you add them all up and divide by the number of times you've done it. 
So your mean value is just your average value. So this is what kind of what the random uncertainty is in your average value. Okay. Uh, could you get a maximum in then? Well, you still get your maximum value, your minimum value. Oh. But your, your averages take add them all together, divided by the number of times. You still have the same results. You see your max value, minimum value, and then divide by the number of times you did it. We'll give you the uncertainty in that. And that can be given out in terms of, we've actually given that in your data book. Random uncertainty equals max value minus min value over number of values. So it says in your data book. So you have this in your data book. <coughs> this one here. Okay? Right. One more thing.